The intent of this video is to review the tools and techniques World War II air crews would adopt in estimating the speed of a submerged U-boat in World War II. This is a part 16 video in the channel's Bombers vs. Submarines Battle of the Atlantic series. The tools and techniques air crews adopted for estimating a submerged submarine's position and direction of travel was covered in the channel's part 12 video as shown in this image. During the transition from surface to subsurface, U-boats will switch over from their diesel engines to battery-powered electric motors. The German Type 7 U-boat propellers were powered by either two 6-cylinder, 1,400-horsepower diesel engines or two 500-horsepower electric motors, as discussed in this declassified April 1944 Chief of Naval Operations document titled German and Japanese Submarines and Their Equipment. All of the images shown in this video are declassified. The German Type 7 U-boat was considered the workhorse of the fleet, with 709 boats completed out of the some 1,150 total German U-boats commissioned. The total electrical power to deliver the propeller was equated to 1,000 horsepower. Surprisingly, the electrical output of the German Type 7 U-boat is less than a 2023 Tesla Model S at 1,020 horsepower. A Type 7's maximum submerged speed equates to 8 knots and its submerged cruising speeds equated to 2 knots. Since a nautical mile is 15% longer than a statute mile, multiply an 8 knot speed by 1.15 to get the equivalent mile, miles per hour speed. Therefore, 8 knots is equal to 9.2 miles per hour, which is considered an above average human marathon running speed. The U-boat's diesel room is located forward of the electric room, as shown in this image. A submarine has a weakness that a subhunter can exploit. As discussed in this January 1951 Department of Defense Research Board report titled Subsurface Warfare, the History of Division 6. Under most conditions, submarines will need to keep moving to maintain their equilibrium. The thrust of the submarine's propeller will provide this movement. To estimate the submarine's underwater speed, the aircraft deployed sonar boys would need to be within the range of the submarine's noise-emitting propellers and the propeller's rotating noise would need to be loud and clear enough to count the shaft's RPMs. This chart outlines the basic workings of sonar boys from a January 1943 Anti-Submarine Command Monthly Intelligence Report. The U-boat will emit sounds. The sonar boy's omnidirectional hydrophone will pick up the sound. The sonar boy transmits the sound signal to the orbiting aircraft. The sounds are evaluated by the aircraft's sonar boy operator. This chart outlines the sonar buoy sensor U-boat expected detection ranges from a 1945 U.S. Navy document titled United States Fleet Anti-Submarine and Escort of Convoy Instructions. The x-axis is a range in yards from 2 to 10,000. The y-axis is a U-boat's depth and speed. DE is for destroyer escort. The family of curves in the body of the chart represent the sea state. Given this chart, a sonar boy operator should be able to detect a U-boat traveling at a speed of 4 knots at a depth of 150 feet in a sea state of 1 if the U-boat is traveling within 2,000 yards of the sonar boy sensor. 2,000 yards equates to 1.14 miles. This image provides the tabular data relating the German Type 7 U-boat speed to the propeller's RPM. Tables are provided for a surfaced U-boat running on diesel and a submerged U-boat running on its electric motors. The data has been replotted for ease of discussion. The x-axis is a U-boat's propeller RPM from 0 to 500. The y-axis is a U-boat speed from 0 to 18 knots. The curves in the body of the chart are for a surface U-boat and a submerged U-boat. For example, a Type 7 submerged U-boat propeller is spinning at 200 revolutions per minute, then its underwater speed would equate to 5.3 knots. Couple observations from the chart and data. Submerged U-boats will need to increase the propeller speeds by around 40% to match the U-boat surface speeds. A submerged U-boat will exhaust its battery power in 70 hours if traveling at 1.08 knots and 1.9 hours if traveling at 7.78 knots. The relationship between propeller RPM and U-boat speed is roughly linear. Therefore, a Type 7 U-boat speed can be estimated as 40 RPM for every knot in speed. 
The electric motors make less noise than diesel engines at speeds less than 10 knots. German submarines have a low RPM to speed ratio. This reduces their noise output to half the motor noise of other submarines. A propeller speed of 90 RPM provides the best silent running speed. A 90 RPM propeller speed equates to a submerged speed of 2.2 knots. Anti-Submarine Command adopted tools to assist in training aircraft crew members on sauna boy usage. This image from a January 1945 Chief of Naval Operations and Bureau of Aeronautics Naval Aviation Bulletin describes a sauna boy training aid. The aid includes records of sauna boy operators would likely experience during combat operations. Let's listen to the sounds of the sauna boy speed module. There is a simple test within the module. You will need a stopwatch, pencil, and paper. A submarine's propeller beats usually correspond to the turns of the propeller shaft. There is one beat for each turn of the shaft. By counting the beats in one minute, you can learn the RPM of the sub and have some indication of its speed. For instance, American fleet-type submarines make about 20 RPM per knot when submerged. Our smaller, older-type subs make about 40 to 50 RPM per knot. If you are listening to the propeller beats from a fleet-type sub and count it 100 beats in one minute, you would know the sub was making a speed of about 5 knots. The smaller sub at the same RPM of 100 would be making a speed of 2 or 3 knots. In the following example, assume that you are listening to a fleet-type submarine. At the word start, begin counting the beats. At the word stop, end your count. The time between start and stop will be 15 seconds. Are you ready? Start. Stop. That count was for 15 seconds or one quarter of a minute. So, to get the RPM, or revolutions per minute, multiply your count by 4. The correct count for 15 seconds was 30. Multiplying this count by 4 gives 120, the correct RPM of the sub in this example. Since you are listening to a fleet-type submarine which makes 20 RPM per knot, the speed of the sub is 120 divided by 20, or 6 knots. In the following examples, count the propeller beats for 15 seconds by a watch or clock. Then multiply your count by 4 to get the correct RPM. Each example will last about 20 seconds, but no start or stop signal will be given. Ready? Here is the first example. RPM for the example was 150. The sub was a small type which makes about 50 RPM per knot. 150 divided by 50 gives an approximate speed of 3 knots. Now get ready for the next example. Take a count for 15 seconds, then multiply your count by 4 to get the correct RPM. fleet-type sub. It makes about 20 RPM per knot. Figure out the sub speed. The RPM was 140. The sub speed was approximately 7 knots. If you can determine the speed of a sub heard over the buoy equipment, it may help you in tracking that sub. Remember, to determine the speed of a submarine, Count its prop beats and find the number of revolutions in one minute. This figure divided by the RPM per knot will give the sub's approximate speed. Our modern fleet-type subs make about 20 RPM per knot. 
Our older, smaller type subs make about 40 to 50 RPM per knot. Small German subs, according to limited available information, make about 40 RPM per knot. For further information on enemy submarines, consult the latest official report. In summary, based on this and the other channel videos, a sauna boy operator can use a sauna boy sensors to estimate a submarine's position, direction, and speed. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider commenting, liking, and or subscribing to the channel, World War II U.S. Bombers.